Okay, so I assume everybody watched the video uh, that was on stress, basically. The concept, I kind of introduced the concept of stress, and then we defined it geometrically. And I'm not sure I was thinking about it later. I'm not sure if I ever said it in words. But I know when I went to title that video, I titled it the Kochi Stress Equation. And that's basically what we derived in, in that, that sort of geometric, that octahedral plane. Uh, we derived the Kochi Stress Equation. And, and then I think right there on the last slide, I had written down some equations, and it, it might have not been real clear. If you remember, the, the kind of uh, Kochi stress equation had this kind of structure. It, it had this kind of structure, right? And I don't really want to write out all the components, right? But And so, you know, the way we've, the convention that we've been using is that, you know, vectors are columns and their transposes are rows. So if we wrote this in, in sort of vector notation, this equation would be T transpose in T sigma, right? But it's not typical that we want the transpose of the traction, we want the traction vector itself. So, you know, if we take the transpose of both sides of the equation, then you get T is equal to, and we've used this rule enough, right, that the, the transpose of a product of two vectors or a vector and a tensor is the transpose of each of them in reverse, right? So we take sigma transpose in hat, right? And so this, is that so-called Cauchy stress equation. And in additional notation, we'd write something like that, right? Now, for most of this class, we're always going to use a symmetric stress. So a symmetric stress tensor, you know, is one where its transpose is equal to itself. So it may seem unnecessary to always carry that transpose around, but I'm going to try to do it for consistency because if you ever do take, you know, we, we had this whole discussion before about rotations and large deformations and, and uh, these other things, and it, if you're dealing with those kind of scenarios where you have large deformations and you're using the large deformation strains, uh, you can develop conservation equations that it does in fact matter or you, or you do not get a symmetric stress. But for the small strain case, uh, for, for small deformations, the, the stress tensor will be symmetric, and we're just going to call that the Cauchy stress, OK? And that comes from this equation, which is, you know, this equation is the Cauchy stress equation. 